Hey guys, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and this Tech Tuesday, we're going to be going over how to tell when your car is out of fuel injector. So today we're going to be going over how to use a scan file to tell if you're out of fuel injector. Now the way that you're going to do this is you're going to read fuel injector duty cycle. Now let's talk a little bit about what that means. What this means is, let's say that uh, during wide open throttle you have two milliseconds to inject the fuel into the combustion chamber. Okay, During those two milliseconds, let's say that your injector was open 60% of the time. Now that's pretty good. Given those two seconds, 60% is A-OK. -okay. Now as the RPM rises, that injector duty cycle, which was that 60%, is going to rise as well. Something that's normal is somewhere around 80-85%, that's pretty much acceptable for most cars and you can get away with that in a stock vehicle but now when you add a cam or you supercharge or turbocharge your vehicle you're going to have more airflow which is going to require more fuel because of this your injector duty cycle is going to go up so let's say you have two milliseconds of on time but during those two milliseconds your injectors were open 100% of the time and they can actually see it 100% they'll be open 110, 115%, 116% of the time obviously that's not good now there's two things that can occur when your injectors are open that much Given the design of fuel injectors, they're never supposed to be open all the time. But as soon as you get anywhere close to really 80%, they're basically open all the time, like a garden hose. What's going to happen when they're open all the time is they're either going to get stuck open or they're going to get stuck closed. But either way, you don't want that happening while you're driving. So we're going to go now into a scan file and we're going to take a look at how to add this so we can see it and then take a look at what it looks like when it's good and what it looks like when it's bad. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a tune file here. And the first tune file that we have, this is a mostly stock truck, and it's gonna demonstrate how a mostly stock vehicle would have, what wood it would have for uh, injector duty cycle and what kind of is acceptable. And so what we're gonna do first though is we're gonna have to add it. So in order to add it, we're gonna go to this chart versus time area of our tune file. We're gonna right click, go to chart layout. We're going to select this add series icon up here and we're going to go ahead and add it to group one. You can already see group one's highlighted. Go to add series. At this point, we'll click uh, to insert or change. We'll click here. It's going to be under the maths section. That's M A T H S. Now, what that means is that these aren't necessarily like direct sensors, it's just things that are calculated by the computer in the background. So, what we're going to do is we're going to expand the fuel flow folder. And we're going to double click on injector duty cycle. Once we've done that, it's going to go ahead and select it. Uh, our unit is in percentage, which is great. That's what we want. And our limits are 0 to 100. Now we could raise it up over 100 if we wanted to, but like we said before, anything over 100 is bad, so there's not really much of a need. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color. Just click here. We're going to make this this blue color here. All right, now we can click OK. Close this window. So you can see now in the background, up here, it's go went ahead and added injector duty cycle, and it's referenced by this number right here. So this is 79% duty cycle. So as you can see, if you come along, come along, come along, you can see that as you go up in RPM, the injector duty cycle increases as well. And this this particular truck maxed out about 60, 86% duty cycle, which for a stock vehicle is okay. But if we were going to do something like add a cam, do some head work, throw an intake on, we would want to look into getting a little bit bigger injector because we are getting really, really close to kind of that danger zone. So now that we know what it looks like on a normal vehicle, let's take a look at something that we know is bad. So if we flip over here to this other tune file, this is an example of a car that has the injector duty cycle that is much, much too high. So if you see here, the RPMs are coming up, they're coming up, and right there at 4,500 RPM, we're already at 91% duty cycle. So that's not very good considering we pulled much past that. So if you keep going up and keep going up, you can see that we actually got up to like 113% duty cycle. All right, and obviously that's really, really bad. So you never wanna to get to this point. This is the danger zone and you wanna replace it far before you get there. So if you ever see this when you're tuning a vehicle, you need to stop what you're doing and at this point get bigger injectors. So hopefully this information can better equip you when you're going to tune a car later. So let's say you're sitting at home and you just paused this Tech Tuesday video and you took a look at your scan file and you said, hey, I'm out of injector, so what's your next step? So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to order a set of aftermarket bigger fuel injectors. Now us here at the Tuning School, we trust Infinity Injectors to do this. Infinity Injectors can provide you lots of different size options for V8 domestic engines. 
They also come with copy and paste data for HB tuners. Now what this means is, is you get an Excel spreadsheet that I can copy the injector data out of and paste directly into a tune file. And it's guaranteed that it's gonna make my vehicle start and run really, really well from the get go. And it provides a great base point for me to then continue tuning the vehicle. If you want information on how to get your own set of Infinity injectors, then just check out our website for all of that info. If you have any other questions about how to tell if your car is out of injector duty cycle or not, then feel free to hit us up at 727-264-8875. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.